Thank you, Mr. Ravi. And good morning to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I'm very happy to be here at uh, the summit uh, for social media entrepreneurs and initiatives in India and South Asia. And generously, uh, the organizers have given me 10 minutes to talk about the topic and to share some thoughts. And uh, I'm very happy and pleased about this. Uh, before that, uh, I will share some pleasantries uh, which I expected uh, from me in an, an inaugural session. Uh, and uh, they are not protocol only, they are coming from my heart. Uh, I'm a journalist by profession, uh, a media person, if you look at my resume, uh, a social media buff, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, at Mynados. I'm also an activist, but I spend my time not on the streets, but behind a desk, hoping to facilitate activism. And uh, finally, the director, the regional director of a liberal international institute. And all this taken together, I can hardly think of a more attractive activity, uh, which is more sympathetic to myself uh, than this one here today, and therefore I'm very pleased to be with you, ladies and gentlemen. So I welcome you all. Uh, and I thank you for sharing your valuable time. Many of you I know are finalists. I was honored uh, to be a member of the grand jury uh, which convened uh, earlier in this year. Allow me to share that this was not a formality. Uh, we spent a weekend uh, in Bharatpur and Rajasthan it was a very, very uh, busy weekend. Uh, the grand jury took no shortcuts. Uh, our sessions lasted till early in the morning, and uh, for me at least, until absolute physical exhaustion uh, in an effort, and I say this with a lot of emphasis, in an effort to do justice to uh, the candidates and to select only the very best and the deserving of submissions. So this is where we come from, and therefore you will see the best, uh, and you will see the most deserving submissions here, and they will be awarded later in the afternoon. I say this for whatever the final results will be today. All the finalists, for me at least, are winners. And on this note, I wish to congratulate them on behalf of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom and also in my personal capacity and as an individual. This event and many others aimed at uh, promoting digital empowerment in India and the region would not take place if not for the visionary leadership of uh, my brother Osama Manza the founder and director of DEF. Thank you, Osama, for the fine cooperation and also the inspirational initiatives coming from your side. For our two institutes, Friedrich Naumann Foundation and DEF, today's event is hopefully not the end. And I'm looking forward to many more activities aimed at dealing with the chances, but uh, let's be honest, also the challenges of digitization in this part of the world. But DEF is far more and also bigger than Mr. Osama. DEF consists of dedicated and highly professional activists and individuals who it has been a pleasure and who it is a pleasure to work with all along and uh, a big thank you from our side to all of you for this fine cooperation. Now in the few minutes remaining, allow me to share some thoughts uh, on the topic of digital communication, society and politics and the like. Never in human history has communication changed as dramatically as in the past couple of years. I think we will all agree on that. We are in the midst of an ongoing revolution and uh, social media are part of it and also sometimes driving this revolution. And uh, as we will also probably agree, all spheres of life are affected, certainly our private lives, the economy, 
but also our social environment and the political sphere we are operating in. In hardly another place on Earth, and I'm saying this as a visitor uh, uh, to this country and uh, a person from a foreign land, you can sense this dynamic as much as here in India, and this for more than one reason. Uh, the technological push um, is driven by a political leadership that has declared Digital India a top, top priority, and this is visible in many activities and initiatives uh, from the top. Probably more important than that, from my angle, is that this country is uh, or could be called a treasure trove if it comes to first-class IT engineers and people like you involved in digital media, innovative minds, and uh, some of the aspiring and also accomplished social media stars are in this room with us today, uh, and I wish to hail them. But arguably, the most important driver of digital dynamics, and uh, Mr. Osama gave us some figures, uh, is the singular backlog demand of the Indian masses. Millions, tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions of Indians are longing to connect to the internet and are willing to spend effort and money uh, to get there. And this is an incredible driving force uh, for the dynamics I was talking about. On the voyage to the digital future, various challenges need to be addressed. Topping the list are the dangers uh, of a growing digital divide and a lack of media literacy. If not dealt with strategically and properly, India, her people, and all those interested in them will miss a historic chance to decrease the many inequalities that are haunting this great nation. I will second uh, what Mr. Osama said, that social media has the potential to counter, to combat inequalities, politically, socially, economically. Social media give a voice to the voiceless and the marginalized of whom there are far too many in this part of the world. Social media are social levelers and avenues of empowerment. It is with this message of certainty, and I'm saying this with a lot of emphasis and also hope, that I welcome all of you at the Social Media for Empowerment Awards in summer 2016, a one-time opportunity to inform, to connect, and network. Thank you very much, and have a good day.